in the last section, we looked at something called the Delaunay triangulation, which connected the points in a scatter plot. In this one, we're going to look at what's called the dual of that, and it's the Voronoi tessellation. And it's kind of easy to see the connection between the two. I'm going to come down here and click on the Voronoi tessellation. And then we come down and we use the same data set, which is the movie ratings, and we'll bring in the ratings from IMDb. We'll put them right here in the x axis and the total domestic box office here in the y. And then what that does is you see we have a dot for each of the points in the scatter plot. And what these lines do, those are the tessellations, is they draw the boundaries between each dot and the other one that's closest to it in that direction. And it goes exactly between each two. So for instance, this one is right in between these two. This line is right in between these two. And this line is right in between these two and so on. Now we have an interesting option here. And that is to change the colors, I'm going to take the genre, put that over here. Because each one of these has a genre. Now it's kind of, you know, like this brilliant mosaic, and we can kind of remove the data entirely and put it like that. That's kind of cute. But Let's keep the data in. And so this can be a way of looking at the boundaries between each point as though it's marking out its own territory. And again, you can see that there's a dense part in the middle. And then as we have outliers or cases that are by themselves, they get these larger areas because there's nothing on the outside of them. And so a Voronoi tessellation can be a neat way of looking at the distance between points. And again, at the density within the scatter plot.